That's the end of time. Michael and Jimmy meet as two versions of themselves collide. After many weird things have gone on at the end of time, it seems like this is where things will finally end for Jimmy. And Michael soon, you know, encounter his past self and fight against Dawn and Dark. But here's what happened at the end of time. Jimmy, we're here again at the end of time and with uh, two versions of ourselves. Both the end of time version, like us, the future us, the future us that's coming from when you finally make the choice to make the splits. So, does that mean you're splitting into four just? to like because the end of time is going to die so is it just two yeah I think I'm just splitting into two not four since it'd be I guess worthless for the end of time like variants to exist so that'll be a part of me Wait, does that mean the end of time, like, like, us is a part of us twice? Well, twice for me, only once for you going forward. I mean, technically, twice when the play doctor goes back in time and lives through the back rooms and all that as the home of the back rooms but yeah I guess in the end it's finally just us and uh, play doctors or left a long time ago <laughs> back in like the first end of time but it seems like the end of time keeps shifting each time by what happens in the past S or I guess what would feel like the present but still um, I guess this is our final time here, and now you're split between your AI self and, like, the, um, you self, like the human self of you, Jimmy. Yeah, indeed, Michael. So, yeah. I guess it's uh, time for me to split into two. So, yeah. As for uh, as one half of you, the end of time you must fight a fight that will be unbeatable as for the current you that comes from wherever I finally make the choice. I can remember it yet, can't remember at the same time it's weird because I'm in two minds but yeah. 
wherever we're coming from, we have to do this. You'll be returning back to our future alone, Michael. Well, the Michael that isn't the end of time, you. Why are we combined anyway? You mentioned that you learnt it from the end of time, you, that's it. Like, uh, was, uh, I guess, meant to happen this way. Um, but have you figured out why? I guess it's probably due to quantum break rules because in quantum break, yeah, and what happens is always fixed and can't change, even though our world is usually flexible with time, which is why there's all those weird time loops and almost time paradoxes. But someone must have started the time loop and it seems like potentially in a lot of cases it was either Vincent or someone else, like one of our other allies, sometimes us, sometimes others. I guess not every answer will always be found. Because that's kind of how the world works. Because there can't be answers. Because sometimes the most satisfying thing is a mystery. To leave the viewers with questions. You know, the, the thing Alan said. When he was, uh, you know, quoting uh, Stephen King. So, yeah. But I guess it's our time. It'll be interesting to see the two parts of you before they head to their respective places. The AI and... You know, the human within you, so, I guess, uh, it's time to split for you, Jimmy. Yeah, I guess it's time. I guess it's time to buy regenerate. Yeah. I, I'm still mixed on that. Like, it's not technically bad, it's just sort of came out of nowhere. <laughs> like, usually myths have some time to develop, like, like, there'll be a mystery, but there wasn't much time because it was like, literally, immediately said, like, moments after it happened. Well, at least with, you know, Stephen uh, Moffat, uh, he would at least allude ahead of time. Don't you find it funny that our life has always worked, like, even when Orange didn't plan something, that he somehow, always somehow unintentionally foreshadowed things, like almost things were almost always destined to head this way. It's kind of weird, don't you think? That it's almost like we are predetermined. Like, what the quantum break rules says, like, what has happened will always happen, but 
the future going beyond that point is still flexible potentially but yeah it's weird and interesting but I guess we'll remember no well I'll remember no if everything orange like guess is true by the current time I, I can hardly remember but also remember oh, things are a nightmare I I, I just want to end sometimes but I know I have to be the one to help the multiverse I know it has to be me but as if it isn't me then who else like who else is going to do what's needed to be done yeah Michael but yeah yes goodbye to you Jimmy goodbye and I guess you get to see the start of arts you'll get to see I guess the like first versions of arts like because I feel like I don't know me getting more knowledge over time I feel like we didn't start off as the book of lights or the um like Play doctor but yes you get to see the answer and I don't <laughs> and I technically only get to see the answer it's half of me not even the other half a lesser uh, plague new well I'll probably tell plague at some point I do need to speak to 049 at some point now knowing that they're you Jimmy I, I do need to speak to them as well like but I think that's past echoes and memories lingering because I don't think I have done that yet at the time of me I don't know why I just became all me for a second but I guess the echoes of the past are strong yeah Michael but anyway enough dilly darling we need to do this for the multiverse indeed so two I guess you know versions of that seems familiar <laughs> yeah especially with ugh, goddamn timeline splat splitting uh, again <laughs> it, it's we never get free stuck to the same spiral aren't we yeah Michael indeed but I'm just holding you up now Jimmy so let's do it yes let's here goes nothing god damn all right you've been split yes it's kind of weird I'm splitting up. Yeah, indeed, we're finally split. Now I'm gonna have an echo of the past, but um, did you ever, uh, like, check with Jimmy about 
Is AI half and all that? I can't remember. I guess we would have done that eventually. I would have done it eventually, but I guess you are me because you are the AI half. And yeah. But yeah. But you need a soul from me. To yeah again be it like become who you need to be. So it's a yeah again a bootstrap paradox. Who originally gave you a soul? Probably my grandfather if I had to guess Well our grandfather <laughs> Yes. I'm pretty certain Vincent would have been the one to do it originally in the spiral because even though it's a loop from our perspective like it is actually a spiral from another like it looks like a loop but it's from top down but actually is a spiral like like a um like a slinky or a spring you know just constantly curling around like up and down like the metal twisted around in a circle shape going both up and down yeah but yeah, I guess it's nice to meet my origins. Although I know who you're about to be. Yes, the Book of Lights. I know you don't like the Book of Lights. Well, I guess you do like them, but also don't at the same time yeah it, it's gonna be uh something to see what you become yeah as for you human me you'll be a uh, SCP specifically the plague doctor Someone that will cure the pestilence and all that. So, uh, yeah. I guess, uh, that blessing is probably already within you. Like, probably was in you all along. Wait, what's that? That means it was probably in us too. Yeah. Not just the luck, which... Yeah, again, you realized for a bit and then didn't really think about it more. At least so far currently, yeah, again, echoes of the past are leaking in, but uh, yeah, yeah, I guess we could all worry like. Uh, Cured the pestilence on our own if we really tried. God damn it. We should have done that. Yeah, we probably should have, but yeah, and yeah, we didn't know at the time. True, but why couldn't we just make time a little bit more flexible? I guess more things have been working off sort of quantum break logic then. We anticipate it. Yeah, I guess that's true. Oh, man. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. You two need to get to where you need to be. So you need to be the play doctor. And you need to be the book of lies. So this next bit I send you to wherever you need to go. 
I guess this time it's up to the Void. Oh yeah, the Void would have been a living being at the end of time. Yet, I guess when we were here during, I guess, first and second time, it was before the Void had consciousness. So, Void, you can finally join the party. Yes, I can finally be a part of the end of time. One of the last living things. Unless you get destroyed at some point, which would be a paradox. But yeah, again, like, things kind of work non linear, and you do have the powers of time indeed. So even if I do get destroyed, um, it technically doesn't matter because I can still technically be here on borrowed time, you could say. So I'm living out potentially my last moments. So even if it's a potential paradox, the paradox will fizzle out when I fizzle out if I did die. Hopefully you protected me. But yeah, again, it's kind of weird right now. I can't know what happened exactly, which is weird. Yeah. Yes, sometimes we get to know all of us and sometimes we don't. It's a mystery, but yes, uh, right now you need to get them to where they need to be, Void, so do that. And I have to, well, half of me has to wait for Michael and the others to show up, because I've got to fight door and die. Well, half of me, but yeah. Yeah, God, things suck sometimes. Yeah, Michael, indeed. But you can get through it with time. But I guess uh, things are not always simple. Yeah, God, kind of sucks that things aren't simple but if things were always simple it wouldn't make things interesting I would say sometimes the weirdness makes you know our life our life like even a regular old life wouldn't be anything if it wasn't for friends and family and whatever weird and funny stuff happens like yeah but I guess we've never got an average life we have to be the special ones like to defend or but it comes at a cost as well the cost that's we never, you know, get, you know, the luxury of simplicity, the luxury of the simple things, and we have to fight for our lives constantly, at least we'll have a longer life, but I guess uh, is a longer life bear or is a sure one bear? Questions of philosophy. Because I'm certain some people will want their lives longer and some people won't want their lives to be too long. 
But either way, guess not that that matters. What matters right now is sending these two to the correct places. So, Void, please go ahead with that. Alright, Michael. And I wish you luck, Michael. Yeah. Uh, I'll probably need it. Anyway. Goodbye, you two. Goodbye, Michael. Goodbye, me. Yes, goodbye, me. <laughs> anyway. Go ahead, Floyd. And so... The two head to the places they need to go. The AI now filled with the soul from Michael. Which, Michael, do it. You forgot to do it. I'm breaking off all floor. Oh, hello, narrator. Forgot to do it. Oh, yeah, soul infusion. God damn, if it wasn't for me, you be screwed. You always need someone to help. Yeah, sorry, narrator. And is that you, Nathan? Yeah, I mean, I am a collection of all. I guess the different narrators that have narrated your life, such as the Book of Lies, so I'm partly also you, um, Orange, and uh, I guess Monza, I guess Born Door did kind of do it, so even while you're enemy, it's really Warren's a part of you. Hello there, Michael. I'm not your enemy, just an echo of it. Don't worry, the other three are keeping an eye on me, plus any other narrators that live through arts. I see. Because the narrator is a being that can sort of break the four four as it's the one that must narrate the story so it kind of can know what's about to happen so it can break the four four I see Mr. Door wow I never anticipated this and the break four four at the end you really have given up on the fifth wall joke, haven't you? Yeah, well, you know, everything comes to an end. And this is the end of time. And hopefully, finally, the final end of time, if my powers are correct. But it's been wrong before. Like, the end of time, the original was supposed to be a one-time thing. And then it came two parts and then it came three parts so fourth part potentially in time I don't know if there's anything else I think three's enough a trilogy is enough I've got a whole saga out of this which uh, is I guess quite fitting for you know, the living story and especially with all the ties to Remedy and all that Saga feels fitting <laughs> like Saga ends in <laughs> but yeah um, yeah yeah anyway, you, you can go ahead and now narrate and you know, continue then. Well, I'll end up in the right places, I'm sure. Nothing can go wrong now, thanks to you. No problems, Michael. Anyway, 
so now they had to their appropriate places both the like end of time Michael and the Michael for, from like wherever he came um, and uh, I guess also AI Michael goddamn a million Michaels on this rate which is technically not wrong as that's what happened in the original end of time Michael sacrificing himself for infinite versions of himself even if that didn't pan out against you know me Warndor because I killed them all well the real me not the narrator me but still it, it seems that Michael is in the right place finally and Jimmy but that will be the end of the end of time part three let's hope this is the end but who knows there always could be a fourth part because even the this feels the most fitting things are always shifting and changing so it'll be left ambiguous for the most part other than just saying that it's the end for now and hopefully the end but like there's always like a like random percent chance that could happen again but yeah anyway this tale is now finally at a close